The main focus of the charitable work enabled by the Himalayan Trust UK is teacher training and health education and training. It does not usually involve buildings or any other major capital project. Sometimes, however, a need arises that cannot be ignored. The major earthquake of 2015 is one such example, after which a large number of classrooms needed to be rebuilt. The destruction in 2020 by a landslide of part of one of the schools which we support is another. The provision of a water supply to a school or health post is a third. The building of a new health centre in a remote village helps to resolve a number of serious concerns, especially relating to the well-being of mothers and babies. In all these cases, we appealed for extra help to meet an urgent need and it was met by a generous response from donors. When we visited the Taplajung district of Nepal in 2019 to visit schools and health posts in which the Himalayan Trust is involved, we were very concerned about the state of a boarding hostel for girls next to the secondary school in Lelep. The building was unsafe and in a very poor state of repair with broken windows letting in cold drafts. The rooms were overcrowded with 52 girls in a facility intended for 32. A number of girls did not have a bed, so slept on the floor. The girls cooked unsupervised on open fires and were prone to burns and scalds. Smoke inhalation also made chest infections more likely to occur. The washing and toilet facilities were primitive and there was no water supply to the main building. There was no communal area for eating or socialising. Among our biggest concerns was the lack of adult supervision and lack of security. Young girls living unsupervised in a remote location were at risk in many different ways. We were accompanied on our trip in 2019 by members of Rotary and Inner Wheel groups. They were highly motivated to see what could be done to improve the situation in the hostel and were also keen to support more effective education for girls around menstrual health. Other donors came on board and the green light could be given to the building of a new hostel. The local community provided much of the labour for the various aspects of the project. The new beds, for instance, were made by a local carpenter. And what a transformation took place overall. A robust but attractive building with proper landscaping at the front, new toilets and washing facilities, enough rooms and enough beds for everyone to have a comfortable place to sleep and keep their things, and also a separate room in which they can choose to do their homework. Four kitchens with gas stoves for more varied and nutritious meal options, and proper washing up facilities, a hot shower, and a light and airy canteen as a main social area with a view to die for. The buildings will lie within a lockable compound. There is a designated member of the female school staff who is paid to supervise the girls during downtime. She lives in a house nearby. At the opening ceremony, the senior girl at the hostel, Pasan Kipa Sherpa, made a confident and moving speech expressing the gratitude of the girls for their new facilities. <laughs> when we stayed in the hostel, we were always afraid. Afraid of where we were going to collect water, where we could wash or collect wood for our kitchen stove. We were also afraid at night because we had no fence. The broken windows meant we were cold at night. We still wanted to live in the hostel because it saved us a very long walk to and from school each day. Today we are so happy. We have clean rooms with comfortable beds and a room to study in. We have clean toilets and washing facilities. We can cook healthy meals in clean kitchens and all eat together at the table. Much more thanks to Himalayan Trust UK, all donors. We love you. The thanks of the girls was backed up by a handmade card for each of us. I leave the final words, with sounds of celebration in the background, to the man who did so much to energise the project from the UK end. He sums up what we all feel about the much improved girls' hostel in Lelep. 
This is John Walton, Deputy Chair of the Himalayan Trust UK. John, why are we hearing these sounds of celebration? We've just had a massive party for the inauguration of the girls' hostel, the girls' kitchen and the water supply and toilet and showers. And John, you were close to tears earlier when we opened the building. Um, what's so good about it? Oh, it's just... It, you've started me off again. It's just so good to see these girls having the right facilities that would enable them to spend more time studying and reach their and achieve their, their life goals. Thank you, John.